Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Yellville, Arkansas for 10 things that shock tourists when they come here to Arkansas. And the first thing that shocks them when they come here is the natural state of Arkansas. Look, the motto of Arkansas is the natural state, and you will see that because this state is really gorgeous. The thing is, whether you're here in the Ozark Mountains going through with the beautiful views you have, or one of the numerous state parks when you're here, maybe going to Beaver Lake or Table Rock Lake, or maybe you go to Buffalo National river to check that out. There's tons and tons of outdoor stuff to do when you're here and explore whether it's hiking, driving, you're going to see the natural bridge if you're driving up here to the Ozarks from Little Rock. I mean, there's just so much natural beauty when you're here. And honestly, your biggest surprise part is when you go around. If you do a float trip, especially up here in the Ozark, you can do a float trip when you're up here. Just you, some buddies, and your drinks floating down the river together. I mean, how can you beat that? And honestly, when you're driving around the state, you really will see just amazing views. I mean, it really is a nature kind of place to be. And the thing is, though, when you you think of the natural state, you think of nature and hiking and, and, and fishing and things like that. But my next shot for you is, ah, don't forget the spa life when you come here to Arkansas. And that means when you go to Hot Springs, Arkansas, it's actually, there's a national park. Hot Springs National Park is the smallest national park in the U.S. And it's right there and you have Bathhouse Row. And you have these beautiful bathhouses they built where people would go in and take the baths with the mineral water, the hot mineral water that comes out. And you can go there and, I mean, you can go there and go take a bath yourself. You can go in the 140 degree hot water. You can feel that. It's a gorgeous town. And the thing is, it has history because people have been visiting hot springs for the last hundred and some odd years to take the baths. Baseball players back in the day, like way back in the day, they used to come and relax and take it in and, and, and kind of heal up for the next season here. Gangsters love going there. I mean, there's a little gangster museum you can go and see because you know what Capone liked to go there but honestly when you go to hot springs you're like wow there's hot springs and these this beautiful architecture here this is this is actually really nice and if you don't want to do the bathhouses you know what there's beautiful nature there too from the views going to Lake Hamilton to, to go on the lake and there's just a lot of things to do when you're there but honestly taking in the bathhouses in hot springs that's pretty cool. Now, my third thing that shocks tourists when they come here to Arkansas is the driving through Arkansas. And yes, you have that natural beauty you can check out wherever you're driving through. I mean, yes, maybe not on the hot main highways, but when you're going to visit places like, you know, the Ozarks, or you're going to be going to Hot Springs, you're going to take a lot of these back, you know, state highways and stuff, and they're windy and windy and just gorgeous. You'll turn like, oh, that's a beautiful view, and that's a beautiful view, and that's a beautiful view. And you notice all this turning I'm doing. The thing is, is you'll be shocked, like, how scary it can be to drive there. There, especially when it's dark because you have all these turns because all those beautiful hills and beautiful views you get with those hills and mountains mean a lot of winding roads so it can be a bit scary and and don't be shocked if a deer hops out in front of you when you're driving around so keep your eyes on the road and not just the beautiful views. Now, the fourth thing that might shock you when you come here to Arkansas is their obsession with the pig. And the thing is, there's a lot of different piggy things you might see when you go around here, whether it is the barbecue, which they do actually a really good job of the barbecue here in Arkansas, but probably the most important pig here in Arkansas are the Razorbacks. In the University of Arkansas, the Razorbacks, their football team, yeah, they, they love their Razorbacks here. So two of my best friends, best family friends were Razorback fans, and we used to come down here when I, you know, when I was like, 10, 11, 12, we would come down to watch Razorback games back in the day and go into Fayetteville and enjoy the stuff there. But you know, when you're here, you gotta understand, you might hear a little, woo, pig, sweet. I mean, they'll do it much better than I will with a lot more passion. I mean, I'm an Illinois guy, so I'm I-L-L-I-N-I. -I -I, so you gotta understand, you know, there, there's some there's some competition there. But honestly, their love of the pig, of the Razorbacks here is hilarious. So you'll see a lot of Go Razorback stuff all over the state. So just be ready and, and enjoy the pigs when they play their football games or when they play their basketball games or when you eat them as barbecue, because you'll be good with the barbecue too. You know. It, it, and the thing is, it's not just the barbecue and the Razorbacks. Well, this one kind of does with the rails, rails, Razorbacks, but there's actually the pig trail here that you can drive from the Ozarks to Fayetteville, where the University of Arkansas is. And speaking of food, the next shock I have for you when you come to Arkansas is how much fried food you can get when you're here and big portions of it too. Because whether you're getting fried pickles or fried chicken or a big old fried pork tenderloin, dude, they love their fried food here. And so pick some up when you're going around. If you're going to a small town or you're going to bigger cities like Fayetteville or Bentonville or, or Little Rock, you will have lots of opportunities for tasty fried food. So definitely get that fried catfish or maybe some fried green tomatoes because honestly the Arkansas tomatoes, they're actually pretty good when you are here. Now my next shock that might happen for you when you come here to Arkansas is 
Surprise! It's a dry county. Yes, there are counties here in Arkansas where it's dry, meaning they do not sell alcohol. There is no liquor store. There's no beer at the gas station. There's no beer at the restaurants. <sighs> There's no place for you to buy. So if you're gonna be visiting here and you like to have a tipple or two, you might wanna check and see. It's like, hey, is it a dry county I'm going to or is it a wet county? or is it a moist county? I mean, there, there's different kinds. Dry county means no alcohol is sold there. Now you can have alcohol, you know, you can bring it in and stuff like that, but you, they're not gonna sell it anywhere. You have wet counties where, yeah, you can buy beer and there'll be liquor stores where you can buy hard alcohol, no problem, you have that. And then you have moist counties, which basically, there's no liquor stores and stuff like that, but you can actually go and buy alcohol when you go to the restaurants and stuff like that. So, so there is that. So don't be surprised if you're like, what, I, I can't get a beer? No. No, you can't, not everywhere. Now my next shot for you is how many picturesque little towns they have here in Arkansas. And you'll see is when you're driving through because you're not just gonna do the highways, you're gonna go on these back roads and you're gonna pass through towns like here in Yellville that has the Marion County Courthouse with the stone building that's here and the little shops you can go and check out, little antique places. I went and got, I went and bought comic books, antiques and, and old toys all together in one spot, just on the other side here. And the thing is you come and you're driving around Arkansas, you're gonna see these little cute towns some have been done up so well. Yes, Hot Springs, like I talked about, is gorgeous to check out. Eureka Springs, which is about an hour and a half from where I am now, you can go there and you see that historic center and you'll see that, look, there are these cute picturesque towns you can visit when you are here. Yes, there are the bigger picturesque cities you can visit. You know, you can do Bentonville, you can do Fayetteville, Little Rock. There's stuff to see there as well, but also you'd be surprised how many like cute little like squares you can see when you're driving through. So don't just drive through, stop make a random video why not because you might enjoy yourself when you're there and get some of that great fried food and the thing is is that's why arkansas is really good for photographers because you have like the picturesque little towns but it's more of the picturesque nature you have around the state now my next shot that i have for when you come to arkansas is though they have really good sweet tea and really good biscuits and the razorbacks play in the sec you don't necessarily feel like you're in the south when you're in Arkansas. Arkansas is definitely, for me, much more of a Midwest vibe, okay? Midwest hospitality, Midwest cuisine, Midwest mentality. So it definitely has a different feel than the South or versus Texas, which is, you know, if you're in Texarkana, you can go over there. So you do have a different vibe when you are here. And a lot of people expect that Southernness or that Texasness to be here. No, no, Arkansas, at least for me, it's much more of a Midwest kind of thing. And the thing is the Razorbacks help you adjust to that Midwest attitude because though they play in the SEC, they actually play football like they're in the Big Ten. <laughs> Now the ninth shock I have for you when you come here to Arkansas is this is the home of Walmart and there's actually a Walmart museum you can go and visit. If you want to see Sam Walton's old F-150, you can go to the museum in Bentonville. They actually have the old Walton's Five and Dime. You can go in, it's a museum inside. You can do this, get a soda at the soda fountain. It kind of gives you like that, oh, what was it like, you know, a few decades ago when you'd go there. You, you check it out and it's actually a historic kind of thing. And as Walmart is now not just part of the Midwest and small towns, it's all over the world, it kind of gives you a, a nice little insight and how it started. What did Sam stand for in terms of everything he was gonna do to save money to pass on that savings onto other customers? And yes, you will see an extraordinary amount of Walmarts all over the state of Arkansas. Though I will say I've gone in the Walmarts here in Arkansas, not really anything different than the Walmart back home. So you don't feel like you have to go to Walmart when you are here, but sometimes you feel you should because this is the home of Walmart. But honestly, if you're in Bentonville, due to the Walmart uh, museum when it's there, the, the old Walton store, you can check that out. And my 10th shock for you when you come to Arkansas is they actually have a law to make sure you say Arkansas correctly. It is not Arkansas. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people and they're like, why, why is Kansas Kansas, but Arkansas isn't Arkansas? Kansas because Arkansas is Arkansas and they want to make sure you say it right so when you come here you're coming to Arkansas not Arkansas not something else it's Arkansas and being from Illinois not Illinois I understand how people here are like look dude it's Arkansas get it right all right so I thought I'd just share with you that these 10 quick little fun shocks of coming to visit Arkansas if you want to learn more maybe what to eat when you come to Arkansas and yes fried food does feature heavily check out Jocelyn's video on the eats of Arkansas and if you want to learn more hit that subscribe button we put out new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday and we want to say a special thank you to all of our patrons on patreon our members on YouTube who make honest travel like videos honest travel videos like this possible so I wish y'all the best and bye from here in Yellville, Arkansas in the Ozarks.